Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel everything about coding. In today's video what we are going to do is we are going to build a chatbot using the open AI API service. Okay in the previous video we just got introduced like how to connect and using the python program we had generated the output right. Today we will just take it forward and build a chatbot. So without wasting any further time let's begin. So here we are inside the PyCharm and then what we need to do is straight away from the OpenAI, we are going to import that is OpenAI. Okay, that is the function. And uh, let me tell you, if you haven't watched my previous video, so please go and watch that video first. So otherwise you will not get anything that we are doing over here. In that video, I have told very clearly how to set up the API key from the platform of OpenAI and how to use that API inside the Python. Okay, so please watch that video before watching this video. Now, what we are going to do is we are Okay, I'm just going to copy paste the code that we did in the previous video because it had that API key, right? So I'll just copy paste that. So here it is, I've just pasted that and what this has is uh, the function that is get my key, which we had, you know, we had wrote this, uh, we had written this function in the previous video and uh, this function basically only returns a string that string is basically the api secret key which we are not supposed to show it to anyone so what i have done is i have written a function and that one line of code written i have just hidden that code of this function okay and then i'm giving a call to the function over here so it replaced that with the api key what you can do is you can straight away copy paste your api key right over here with the opening and closing double quotes or single quotes, right? You can just paste it over here and you can start using it. And then we are creating a client object using that open AI function. To this function, we need to pass a keyword parameter. So this is a keyword parameter, it's in red color, which indicates that it's a keyword parameter. We need to pass that open AI, that is the API key, okay? And then what we need is we need some messages. Remember to this client, we had passed certain messages. To this client, we had passed two things. One, one was the model that we want to use. And second was a dictionary, which is which has two values basically, two key and value. The first is the role and the second is the prompt. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just to save time, I will just, okay, copy paste that dictionary over here so you can see that's the dictionary and uh, it has two key values so there are two items so first is role and the role this time is of system if you can remember in the previous video we had used this we have kept this as user why because it was for the user but over here i'm telling the chat gpt that this is a system and uh, the role is of a helpful assistant and that's the reason I kept this role as system. So it has to behave or it has to react that way. Okay, so that is the first thing. Now we are going to add more dictionaries. This is just one dictionary we have. Okay, we will be adding more roles. Understand it. Now what we need to do is we need to start with a while loop and then i will say true so basically this is an infinite loop okay but what i will do i will take a user input that is user and input is equal to input and i will say u and colon so it will be printed as it is on the console so this is for the message to the user. So user will type anything the way we do it in uh, on the chat GPT. The same thing user is going to type anything that the user wants. And then the, the assistant is going to respond to that. Okay, this is what it is going to do. Now what we will do is we will check whether if, if in, I just had this, uh, input input okay that's a user input basically so that's user input okay so if user input in and um, 
what we need to do is convert everything into the lower case okay in case anything is capital everything will convert in lower case and we will check whether it is in whether user has typed quit or user has typed exit so if the user types quit or exit then what will we do we will break the loop so we are going to stop okay and then comes very important thing is this that is messages dot append okay as i told you we are going to add more dictionaries so this was the first dictionary okay and then what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is in messages now the role is of a user and the content is the user input so whatever user input we had okay that input we are giving that into a dictionary and the role is of a user why because this input is from the user now why we need to do this is because we want that the assistant the chatbot should remember what was the previous input by the user okay and that is the reason why we need to add these to the messages okay that's the point and then we just need to give it to the api using that client so as you can see over here client dot chat dot completion this is the same thing that we did in the previous video and then we want to create and as you can see we need to pass two things to this right to the create method first is the model and the model that we are using is that is gpt 4.1 nano which is the cheapest model very very affordable okay and the second is the messages and the messages that is this one right inside this messages there are two dictionaries the first dictionary was this one and then again we added another dictionary that is this one okay so that the chatbot remembers what was the user input okay so it will keep on adding the user input into the messages this is what is going to happen so we will give that input the user input to the client object and then it is going to return a response okay and then we will just say reply is equal to that is a response dot and uh, that is choices of that is the first item it is a standard code just to get the message the response from the api okay and dot content okay so we are going to get the response the reply from the api or the open ai so api is going to carry that request from us and also it is going to give the response from the api it will carry back to us as a response okay now what we need to do is simply we will print the reply and the reply will be in this form something like bot colon and comma reply that's it okay so that reply we are going to take and then what we need to do is a very important thing again i will add this response into the messages and this is very very important okay but this time the role is of assistant the role is of, is of assistant and i'm going to store that reply okay now please do not get confused between this assistant and i said that you are an assistant over here this is a chatbot role that it is going to act okay the open ai okay and over here when i say assistant is basically when we want to store the responses okay in that case the role will be of assistant otherwise if it has to be a chatbot then the role will be of a system okay and the, so it's like first the system then we store the user response and then we also store the responses given by the api okay so that it remembers what was the user input and also knowing its own responses what was the responses i had given before and that's the reason we need to store both the user response the user input and the response given by the 
chat gpt open ai or of the api right remember this and then what we need to do is and i guess that's more than sufficient right and now what is left is to run the code so let us run this code and see what response we get or we get some kind of error let us check so i'm just running this code now and here we go and uh, no error till now so that is a kind of a big savior but we can also have a runtime error unless and until everything doesn't work properly we don't feel good as a coder right so right now i will say what is python okay and enter and let us see if it can give us some response and here it is it has given bot has given us the response that python is a high level interpreted programming language and all that right and again you can see the prompt is over here right so i will say write a program in python for even or odd number let us see what response it gives to us and here it is okay here it is that's the that's the python code for even and odd and also it has explained us how the code basically works and that's the prompt over here so now what i will do is i will give the input as exit and you can see the program has now terminated why because that's the logic that we had applied over here right so this is a, a kind of a general chatbot that we had we have just developed so i hope that you have enjoyed this video and again i repeat if you have not watched my previous video how to set up the api what is uh, the pricing of that api everything the platform i have explained how to get access to all that okay and the model that we are using is a uh, gpt 4.1 nano which is the cheapest model everything i had explained in the previous video so please go and watch that video and then if you come down to this video you will you will understand things in a much better way okay and if you really feel i'm giving you content please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much